Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily and quickly set up a basic rotation system for just rotating objects. Um, yeah. So to start, here I have a basic scene with uh, an, I guess, oven here. I put a red arrow on top so you can see the direction and also put like a little text here to say it's front. And here's a circle to like have a reference point. And I also set up the camera to see all of this. So to start, let's create an empty object that could be your player and add a component called, um, yeah, rotate system or something like that. You can also incorporate this in any other like actual building system you have, but I'm gonna just create it in a separate um, system for now. So opening this up and waiting on Unity. Any time now, yeah, thanks. We will delete all of this and have a public game object reference up here. That's going to be our object to rotate. Again, this could be in your case, if you have a building system, the block you have in your hand right now, something like that. And let's um, also put a reference up here. It's going to be our Kryptonian. That's going to be our target rotation. What this will do is basically store the rotation that we want to have and uh, basically set our um, object then to that position. Then let's um, again write this void update loop here and avoid, ah yes of course case sensitive, mm -hmm. avoid check rotation here. This is going to be our rotation um, function. So here uh, using the old input system as I do like it quite a lot. We're going to check if a key is pressed. That's going to be the key code Q. You can rebind this to any other key, but I'm gonna just use Q and E for left and right. And then I will set this target rotation up there to quaternion dot Euler. This the quaternion dot Euler is, if you look here, just these three values up here. And what we want to um, adjust is the Y value, or at least that's what I want to do in my case. So we're just going to have um, a, a zero because I don't want to change anything on the zero axis. We could also just use um, object dot to rotate dot um, transform dot quarter Euler angles. Those are the angles I just mentioned dot X. Then let's copy that again and change Y and Z. Let's put a semicolon back here and let's put a plus 90 here. So what this will do is it will just look at the values of this cube and then always add 90 to here. So if we're 90, then 180, then again plus 90 and of course again then plus 90. Nice. And the same thing we'll do for E. So just replace this Q with an E here. And instead of plus 90 we'll do just minus 90 to rotate it in the other way. And lastly, very importantly, just object to rotate dot uh, transform dot rotation. Right here equals target rotation. So he will just set the rotation of the object to rotate to well the um, target rotation we're setting up here. So now if we look in here, clicking on our player, we have this free empty slot. Let's drag our cube in there, the oven here, and click play. And nothing's working. Oh, of course, because I'm stupid. Uh, don't forget to put this check rotation if I can spell it correctly yeah into the update loop because of course it has to detect it some way and then yep we have it here I press uh, E it rotates right and if I press Q it rotates left you can then expand this by maybe adding a if you press I don't know V, it um, also rotates upwards, so then um, 
you can't have uh, total control over the cube and how it rotates. Yep. Okay. See y'all.